Zania. Hello. Hi, David. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you for calling in, Zania. Thank you. So this is actually the second time I've had the pleasure of being interviewed by yourself on the, uh, well, interviewed. Spoken. Oh, Zania, I've lost you. Are you still there? Why don't you cut yourself okay. off? Yeah, you're, you're, you're on the line, Zania, but you cut off for a bit. Start again. Go Apologies. On. Yeah, so this is the second time I've actually had a conversation with you, Mr. Lamy, with regards to um, the recognition or lack thereof of our Commonwealth soldiers in the war. Um, and just wanted to phone in because my mum, following on from the conversation you had with her last time, uh, her name is Beulah Coombs, has written a book um, about her uncle who fought from Jamaica. I remember Jamaica. your mum's book, your mum's yes. book was called My Uncle Robert, right. The True Story of a Forgotten Jamaican uh, in World yeah. War One. Yes, exactly. So that's available on Amazon and um, she's she's launched that and, um, you know, it, I think it's fantastic but we have to keep these conversations going really because, um, you know, I want, I've got a young son myself and I, I would hope that it would be included in the curriculum really, you know, it, it's still not reflected, we still have Black History Month, it shouldn't be Black History Month, these are things that should just be reflected throughout uh, general British history. And this is to say, British Zania, history. that the point is, you know, we remember the poetry of Wilfred Owen, Sigurd Sassoon, when we think of the First World One, well, well, well First World War. Um, many of us remember the humour of Blackadder, but Blackadder conveying the indignity of being in those trenches in World War One. But no one, no one really talks about the fact no one ever saw uh, in those trenches. The West Indian soldiers um, uh, that were both on the Western Front and the Eastern Front never ever told that story, and that's why your your the, the book, my uncle uh, Robert, is so important. But it really should be in the yeah. curriculum. Yes, it really should be, and we'd love to see you at the launch if possible, Mr. Lamy. It's on the twenty sixth of December at the Brixton Cultural Archives, the Black <laughs> Cultural Archives in Brixton. It'd be great to see you there. <laughs> But no, seriously though, as you say, you know, this should be part of the curriculum. Um, many men and women, when we went along to Belgium and, and found Uncle Robert's grave after, um, you know, nearly a hundred years of us not knowing that he actually was buried mm. in Belgium, mm. uh, which is detailed in the book, mm. um, we saw many graves of other Jamaican soldiers that were in the British West Indies Regiment. Mm. Um, and, and we probably, you know, we were wondering if anybody knows that they are there. Their relatives probably have no clue that their relatives are lying there in state as well. So, um, you know, it, it's very sad, but I'm glad that we live in a time now where these conversations are happening. It's a bit late, but never late, never too late to get the conversation going and get people aware uh, of this contribution to history from people of colour. Sonia, thank you so much for calling in. What a nice way um, uh, to end that fantastic segment on the sacrifice. Uh, of our soldiers, remembering all of them, of every colour and every background, uh, and also what Joan said in relation to whether we're really living up in, in terms of the society that we've created today to that sacrifice. Thank you very much. Um, keep your calls 